Hello everyone, Counter Spell Hater here, back with another EDH guide. Before we get into today's video, I'd like to say, please use my link in the description. It will bring you to this website you can, where you can donate to ALSF to fight against childhood cancer. More information, information and more will be waiting for you on this website, of course. All that matters is that you donate one of the $100. You can make a donation, you make a difference. Uh, like, subscribe, comment, make a request. EDH quest, standard deck tech quest, uh, renal content request, stuff like that. You first come, first serve. But it's this video or another video, make the comment, you made the request. Make sure the content is already featured on the channel and it's not already been requested by someone else before you. Um, and hit the notification bell, that way you don't miss another one of my videos. And share this video along with other videos on my channel with other people so they too can receive guidance for you truly and use my link to help out their community. Needed to the 86 of you who are currently subscribed, like it if we get to 100, please. Uh, I'd say since you guys have Vidania, we do maybe this week. If not, I'll still be happy. I'm so grateful that you guys are here with me on this journey. Thank you so much up to this point to all of you. Um, all right. So now, with that out of the way, let's begin. So we have San Sanwell, Avenger X. As long as an artifact creature you control is attacking, prevent all damage that would be dealt to her. Uh, and when she becomes tapped, you exit the top X, the top six cards of your library. You may cast a vehicle or artifact creature spell from among them, but then put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. So I built a artifact creature, uh, a mana creature deck uh, that likes to get a bunch of mana out and even some stuff that I'll tap uh, Sam Will here without forcing her to go into combat. combat. Uh, we do have one Karn Living Legacy for Power Stone tokens. And his, his emblem will definitely guarantee that someone dies without me artifacts for getting out between these two. So we've got mana creatures, stuff that untaps, and other stuff. So let's begin. Ally mirror for mana, ancient stone idol, because it'll be it could be cheap because we can cast this right as we're attacking. Automated artif artificer, uh, bronze war bronze guardian to give our artifacts ward two. Burnish tart for ramp, cataclysmic gear hold to reset the board kind of. Crypto Thrall, keep artifact creatures safe. Crystalline Crawler, help us cast more stuff. Crystalline Giant. Three mana, three, three, could easily get out of hand if you let it go that far. Foreboding Statue, uh, slash Forsaken Statue, I think it is. Um, another mana creature ends up giving you mana when it's flipped. Foundry Inspector achievements are artifact spells. Gold Mirror makes white mana. Hanger Back Walker can make us a bunch of tokens. Hadron Crawler for more mana. Jorah's Familiar to reduce the cost of our stuff. Cold Dotha Forge Master get something scary, maybe like a Lion Sash or a Lotus Guardian. Or maybe a Meteor Gallon to deal with something. Megasynth Gallon, highly recommend. Cheapens all your stuff, and we want artifact creatures in here, so why not? Uh, and this will make everything ridiculously cheap. Mirror Battle Sphere gives us a bunch of tokens. Opaline, Opaline Unicorn for mana. Ornithopter of Paradise for more mana. Ladium, Ladium Mirror for more mana. Petrocatomaton will buff itself up. Pyrexian Triniform. Big scary 9 9 that can make copies of itself. Leg mirror. In fact, 1 1 adds a mana. Scare till it to help us get out more lands. Scuttle mutt for more mana. Shambling suit because it's going to be huge in this deck. We're going to have a lot of artifacts out, so why not? Shimmer mirror, give our artifact spell splash. Solemn simulacrum. Uh, Help us find lands, steal over here, buff everything up. Feels great, great with Crystalline Crawler. 
because uh, it can give it more counters to for us to spend mana with. Stone Coil Serpent uh, can pump a lot into X if we have a lot of mana. Triplicate Titan uh, make us some three threes, and on its own is very scary. War Workhorse uh, goes well once again with Steel Overseer, getting the counters from Steel Overseer and removing those counters for mana. Recall this mana. Uh, Astronaut's Altar, sacrifice these creatures for mana. Cage Sun, buff up uh, all of our white creatures and doubles up on our planes uh, and its mana production. Cult Cultivator's Caravan for more mana. Doubling Cube to double up on our mana. Forsaken Monument, colorless creatures you control get plus two, plus two. Whenever you tap permanent for colorless mana, add an additional colorless. When you cast a color of a spell, you gain two life. Need I say more? I think not. Excuse me. Ghost Arc. Give our artifact creatures in our graveyard on Earth whenever we crew it. Helm of the Host. Can make multiple meteor gowns, multiple steel overseers, multiple crystalline giants, stuff like that. Mirror Works. Uh, now we're talking. We're making a whole bunch of copies. Paradise Mantle, attach this to our commander. It can tap for mana, so then it'll activate it itself. Spring and Leaf Drum will do the same thing. Thousand Year Elixir, untap our commander. Umbral Mantle for the same thing. Same effect. Windbrush Kites for Hideaway. Mirror Landscape, an isolated watchtower for mana, and 47 planes. The deck uh, comes with these 10 tokens, of course. Zero, three parents with a mana value of zero, one with a mana value of one, 10 with two, 14 with three, eight with four, five with five, two with a mana value of six, three with a mana value of seven, two with nine, one with 10, and one with 11. And on chance, and on curve, not on chance, on curve, uh, we have a 100% chance of playing Hangerback Walker, Stone Coil Serpent, and or Paradise Mantle, especially Paradise Mantle. Um, here's the statistics. Here's a sample of the hand. Also, average number of lands in opening hand, 3.54 as per usual. Uh, the deck cost comes in at $168. So not my most expensive deck, but not my cheapest either. Um, and with that said, that is this commander guide wrapped up. Uh, starring San, starring Sanwell, Avenger X. Hope you enjoyed this commander guide. Please use my link in the description. It'll bring you to this website where you can donate one one hundred dollars to make a donation. You make a difference. Leave a like on this video. Subscribe. Thank you to the eighty six of you who are currently subscribed to me. I encourage all of you to stay subscribe and subscribe if you are not already. Um, hit the notification bell that way you don't miss another one of my videos. Share this video along with other videos from my channel with other people so they too can receive guidance from yours truly and so that they can. Uh, help out their community, help out their world, help fight against childhood cancer, and eventually possibly cure it. And in the comments, make an EH request, standard deck tech request, arena content request. Uh, make sure the content you're requesting has not already been previously featured on this channel in another episode dedicated to that content or has uh, already been requested by someone else. And you make the comment, you made the request. So whether it's this video or another video you are commenting on. You make your you make the comment, you make the request. First come, first serve, so give us the comments. Uh, with that said, like, subscribe, comment. Comment anyways if you don't want to, you know, make a request. Because I know y'all have something nice to say. Uh you always do. You always have positive feedback. Thank you so much for that. Miss, I kind of uh, miss some of the conversations with you guys, uh, interaction, feedback, you know, 
keep bringing that up. Uh, I think that's about it. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.